Thank you. So on a cold day in the winter of 2006, we were off surfing on the cliff walk. The sun started to set, and so we started to go back to our car. When we got there, we were told that where we were parking was private property, and it wasn't public. It didn't make sense to us, so we went to the police station and we told them the issue, and they told us that we had to go see the city council. So that's what we did. In the summer of 2006, there was a sewage spill at the beach, and I got area surfers talking about water quality. A few weeks later, there was an even bigger sewage spill. It was called a ruptured force main, of a pipe going from Middletown to Newport. And I got people talking about water quality even more. A couple days later, some people somehow con contacted myself and a friend, and they brought to us an issue with accessing the coastline in Middletown. Uh, these things happened. For me, my connection to the ocean is obviously riding waves. And you would think that someone who loves the ocean and has a passion for enjoying time in it would care about things like water quality and plastic in the ocean. But the reality is, these things weren't really on my mind 11 years ago. And it took a certain sequence of events to make a citizen science movement come together of taking good care of our environment and taking good care of each other. I was on a surf trip to Hawaii. Actually, I was there to see my mom in, in the spring of 2006. And after one of the wettest marches on record, the sewage system in downtown Hawaii was just overloaded with, with rainwater. And they had this thing called the ruptured force main. At that time, I had no idea what that meant, but I, what I did realize is that millions of gallons of untreated sewage were d d dumped directly onto the Alawai Canal, which flowed directly into Waikiki Beach. Uh, so that's kind of my story of how I got connected with taking good care of the environment. But whether you enjoy surfing, sailing, walking at the beach, swimming, or just enjoying time by the ocean, we all have something that connects us in a passionate way to the environment. And when something happens that makes you think about that passion is going to be at risk, it makes you take action. It makes you realize that you need to do something to protect our environment. So when I think about getting involved, that's one of the first things that we had to do to take better care of our environment. And it really starts with volunteers. And the best way I describe volunteerism is that people care. People want to get involved to make a difference, to make this a better place. And what volunteers are looking for is they're looking for activities that are fun, easy, and impactful. Somewhere in there is also the concept of rewarding. Volunteers want to know when something starts and they want to know when something finishes. They want to know that the contribution that they're making is something to much greater and a bigger cause, but they can see the connection between what they do and where you're going. Those are the core values that you can never forget when you want to create a citizen science movement to take better care of the environment. Make it fun, make it easy, make it impactful. And part of that is architecting programs that you take entire initiatives and you create loosely coupled activities so that people can get involved and they can make a difference. On our own, we all have our own opinions. By the comfort of our couch and sitting in armchairs, we form opinions about politics, worldly and local affairs. Those form our differences, but then when it comes to ideas like water quality and marine debris and ocean health and public access, these things actually bring us together. And those differences become our greatest strengths. By working together, people can actually harness the, our, our diversity to actually move the needle forward in protecting our environment. So whether it's retired professionals, students, scientists, technologists, contractors, or experts in professional fields, Everyone comes together in a citizen science movement and makes a contribution that's defined and it's something that makes them feel good and it contributes to the greater whole. One of the things that you have to do with citizen science movement is you need a sense of activism. And activism is all about taking a tool and making changes with it. So we put together our citizen science movement to really protect and improve the environment of Aquinnick Island. Uh, in the last 11 years, we focused on marine debris, and by engaging thousands of people over every year to take better care of this planet, whether it's de marine debris removal or marine debris prevention, plastics in the ocean, we've been able to put together a data set 
that's allowed the scientific and policy making community to make better informed decisions to improve the ocean health and at least get the subject going so that people are more aware of it. When we started 11 years ago, the topic of trash on the beach and plastic in the ocean, perhaps we were aware of it, but it wasn't something that was, that's driving, you know, really a worldwide effort right now to improve ocean health. When it comes to water quality, we were told that the bacteria dies off when the water gets cold, and that's just not the case. We started an island-wide, weekly, year-round water quality program that's really kept the heightened awareness on water quality. It's kept it at the forefront of decision-making and action planning. I mean, clean water is obviously very important for all of us. Uh, and last but not least, we've had an active voice in taking good care of the coastline, trying to preserve the natural beauty and primitive ruggedness in either intercepting or get ahead of development that really gets in the way of our ability to access a clean ocean. But the final piece that really is the citizen science movement is it's really about community. It's about people getting together and caring about the same thing. Our differences are our strengths, but when we come together and we work on the same thing, that's when we really build that wave of momentum. And it's a wave that you want to ride. Science, citizen science provides a data set. It's reliable, it's scalable, it's transferable, it's usable. Scientists and policymakers can use this information to make better informed decisions about how to take good care of our environment. Citizen science itself doesn't actually solve the environmental problems, but it's the vehicle for change. Citizen science is a wave, and it definitely pays off. Thank you.